Hi, Sarah Banas here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to a good workaround for the kerning error in Cricut Design Space. Kerning is the letter spacing and alignment uh, that a font designer intends for that specific font. Uh, Cricut Design Space, there's an error where it recognizes each letter as its own letter and not a part of a whole sentence or a whole word. So um, it, it puts spaces in where they don't belong. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, another thing that we're going to address is contextual ligatures. So let's look at that first. So these words right here were typed out in a proper design program. I'm going to show you how to do this in a program called Inkscape. It is a free open source program. Uh, two ways to get it on Windows 10. You can go to uh, the Microsoft Store and there's a free app. Again, Inkscape. Or you can go to inkscape.org and that is the trusted download source. Okay. So these two were typed in in Inkscape. These two were typed in in Design Space. Okay. So let's first look at this. Okay. So... This right here has a couple of contextual ligatures in it. So when you type this out in Design Space, it doesn't recognize those ligatures. And you can see here that this looks much more professional. This looks fairly amateur. Okay, so the GA is a ligature, the UTT is a ligature, and the ER is a ligature. Or I'm not 100% sure, it might be the UTTE is a ligature. But either way, there's either two or three ligatures in this. Okay, now when you type it out, like I said, in a program like Inkscape, it automatically recognizes those letter combination and inputs those ligatures, those contextual ligatures into your text. A program like Design Space does not recognize them and will see each one as its own letter. So that's one thing that this is gonna is gonna fix by setting our text up externally. The other one, and uh, you know, probably even more important, is when you're dealing with script fonts. So let's take a look at this. This is Amistery. This is one of my favorite fonts. I'll go ahead and I'm going to link both of these fonts, uh, as well as this font right here. This is a brand new one that I just got. Uh, I'll link those three fonts in the um, description of the video. These, they're, they're all fonts that you know anybody should own. So let's look at this script font. Okay, so this was typed out in Inkscape. This is all correct. That's exactly how that font is intended to look. This was typed out in Design Space. And not only is um, the kerning a mess, but it, it, it's not going to line up correctly when we, when we try to change it. So two ways people will tell you to uh, fix the kerning error in Design Space. One of them is to right-click click ungroup and have each of these be its own independent letter and manually move them and try to fit them together the way you feel the text should look. Okay, that's going to give you, again, amateur results. It's going to look like you did that. Uh, the other one is to decrease the letter spacing, and that's going to give you very poor results as well. I'll just show you, just for the heck of it, I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to show you both of those methods, and I'm going to show you uh, what happens when you use them. Okay, so let's move this over here. Select this, and let's decrease our letter spacing. Okay, down, down, down. You'll see some of the letters will start to fit together. Most of them will not. So the first letter that will connect will probably be that R and that I. regardless but you can see that that's it's just it just doesn't look good no matter what you do you're not going to make that look correct by decreasing that letter spacing okay so let's get rid of that and let's try the other method that people will tell you to use so let's right click and let's ungroup the letters and now let's manually move these together okay so we're going to guess that the a should be there we're going to try to connect that s to that uh, the lag on the M, 
looks awkward. You can see that it's disjointed. Uh, then let's try to move this over here. And you can see that I'm, I'm completely guessing. I have no idea where that is correctly supposed to fit together. And I'm just kind of trying to trying to put it where I think it might might work. And that takes a lot of time and effort and still is going to give you, like I said, amateur results. I hate to keep saying that word, but there's really no other, there's no other way to put it. So, okay, so there, there's no point even continuing on with this. You can see, you can see how it's all coming together and it might look passable to an untrained eye to somebody who doesn't know what they're looking for, but that looks terrible. So I'm going to show you the right way to do it. So let's get rid of this. Oops. Let's get rid of this. And move this. Here, I'm not even going to get rid of it. I'll just move it. I'll move it all back up where it was. Okay, so let's go over to Inkscape, and we'll get started there. Again, trust a download source. You can go to the Microsoft Store, Inkscape uh, app in there or you can go to inkscape.org. I already have mine up and ready to go. Uh, two things, when you first open Inkscape, uh, the first one is that all of these on the on the left-hand side are going to the very, on the top are gonna be very small. The way you fix that is you go to Edit, Preferences. Uh, it's already on Interface, but that's what you want. It'll be over here. You'll wanna move it over here. Uh, and these will all be set to smaller, smaller. Set them all to larger, 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 close, close Inkscape, reopen. And from that point forward, these will all be the correct size. The other thing is that your workspace will be very small when you first open it. On your keyboard, press plus, plus, plus until you get it up to size. Okay. Now the way you use the text feature in Inkscape, click this A over here on the left-hand side. The next thing you'll want to do without clicking on your workspace, you want to click up on your text selector. And well, I guess we could do the Amistary first. That was already set up. I should have just left it on that. So Amistary, we're going to go to Amistary script, and then we're going to click on our workspace and we're going to type out Amistary script. You can see all of the letters are connected. Don't worry about the top and the bottom being cut off. Um, it's just where the borders fall on Inkscape, and that'll be fixed when we change uh, the text to path, okay? So now I'm going to want to size this down. So to size this down, the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my correct, my, um, the correct tool is selected. I want this top select tool. You can see it put arrows around it. To, to uh, size down or to size up, you always want to press control first, and then on the corner, pull in. If you don't press control when you do that, uh, it, it won't size in proportion. It'll go wonky on you. So now that I have this down to size, um, the first thing, well, so to, to before you move this over to um, design space, what, and I'll show you, I, might, I was going to type up both sets of text, but I'll just show you with this. So with that selected, you're going to want to go to path, object to path, and then click underneath your selector on the left-hand side. You see this right here, edit paths by nodes, click that, okay? So what that has done, see how when I, when I go over it, it's showing each letter individually? That has changed that from text to a path. That is what you wanna do. So now let's go ahead and type up our garlic butter. Again, click on, oops, again, click on your, um, your A for to do text. And then up here in your, in your text selector, your font selector, type in garlic butter and then click on your workspace, type out garlic butter. See how it's inputting those um, contextual ligatures on its own and all of the, all the kerning is correct. And that's just exactly how the font designer intended that font to look, okay? So again, go over here, click your selector, it brought your arrows up, press control while you're click while you're uh, pulling that in. And now again, before you can move this over to design space with it selected, with it selected, you're going to click path on the top, object to path, and then you have to click right here, 
had it passed by nodes. Okay, so now I have all of this is all ready to go. Let me get rid of all of this. Oops, so wrong tool selected. Anytime you're working in Inkscape and it's not doing what you expect it to do, check your tools that you have your correct tool selected. That is almost always the problem. So now to move these over to Design Space, I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Save As. And then I'm going to, I have uh, a file set up that I'm going to save it in on my desktop. And I'm going to go down to, oops. Oh, I changed the name of it. I changed the name of it to a work folder. Okay. And then I'm going to, I'll leave it under, you know what? I will put it under garlic butter. Okay. And now on your drop down, right below that, click on that and go to plain SVG. And now click save. Okay. And now go back over to design space and now go to upload, upload image, browse. I'm going to want to browse my desktop and I'm going to go to a work folder. What did I not complete over here? File, save as, desktop, a work folder, garlic butter. I think I saved it right to the desktop. So anyway, a work folder, garlic butter, uh, plain SVG, save. There we go, now it's there. Garlic butter, open. That's fine. Continue. Save. Insert image. Okay. I'm going to move this over here so that I have room to work with this. And what I'm going to want to do here, um, so I'm going to want to click on group. Okay. And then I'm going to want to select all of that text. And then I'm going to weld that text together. And I'm going to select all of this text. And I'm going to weld that text together. And that's perfect. And now you have perfect text. And you'll get perfect text every single time. No more crazy errors with getting... You know, when you weld stuff together, letters being filled in and all those problems, you won't have any of those issues anymore. Your text will be perfect every time and it'll look professional. If you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to ask them below. Uh, the other thing is make sure that you like the video and that you follow my channel. Um, oh, and one other thing, uh, I have a few groups on Facebook that I admin and mod. I'll go ahead and I will link those in the notes. One of them I give away uh, my designs that I personally make in uh, for people to use. Uh, lots of helpful information in all three of those groups. So join me on Facebook. Um, other than that, I hope you have a good day. Take care.